Today's Wednesday and it's the 27th of March, it's 2024 and uh, we're back on the west side of the island now. We're back in Magaloop and uh, we're actually inside uh, Kathmandu, well the Kathmandu uh, Adventure Park, just where they've got the crazy golf here and it's all open, people are enjoying it and uh, well the waterfall is running. We're going to have a little walk around uh, Magaloop now though. If you fancy a game of mini golf, crazy golf, whatever you want to call it, then uh, here in Magaluf you've got the Kathmandu area and lots of other things going on there, not just golf. But we're going to head off into Magaluf. It's very windy today, so uh, we'll try and keep out of the wind as much as we possibly can. And the season's just really beginning. Tomorrow is uh, Monday, Thursday. A public holiday, though Anita's telling me some shops are open, so it might not be such a public holiday as it may seem. That's the crazy golf there. Expedition golf, we refer to it as. But the Kathmandu Park's got lots of other things besides the upside down house you can go in to watch uh, a multi-dimensional video tv ride not sure what it is and here's Magaluf all starting to come up to life now The hotel here just used to be called the uh, Magaluf Park Hotel, it's now a Kathmandu Park Hotel. It's got its own little water slides there and they look quite fun. Perhaps not for me. The local schools will have broken up today. International schools mostly broke up. Some today, some last week there. It is very windy, it's definitely not parasol weather. Don't worry about my hat flying away. Uh, we come down in the afternoon. It's a bit cold this morning. Uh, we had a bit, a bit of a drop in temperature. Uh, Anita went out and said it was only 12 degrees first thing. Um, it's warmed up a bit, but it's very windy. This is all due to die down a little bit. and uh, I think the weekend should be quite pleasant. One interesting thing I saw is that uh, BCM, which is what's coming up here on the left hand side, they're opening very early this year and they're one of the uh, companies that's supporting the extended uh, holiday season and so we've actually got it open i think today not really our uh, thing but um, any of you who like bcm tito's you've got your tickets here some clients right next to the Samos Hotel we been open for a while now the Samos
we've just had a lovely couple of days over on the other side of the island we're actually in uh, Sakoma on the east coast and uh, very quiet there the season not really started we did actually get up to Calamillor as well and there it was much more lively and uh, we'd actually got some beds on the beach so yeah, interesting to see if Magalor has uh, caught up with the sunbeds on the beach because the last time we were down there we weren't any and uh, we were in Palmanova last week and there weren't any the sea bars are opening up here still early days and it's been about nearly three weeks I think since we've been down here did they have an opening of a square the other night? Did they? I haven't seen that. The Magaluf Square? Yeah, That's behind BCM. Or do you mean this, this square underneath the inside hotel? Sinkies is opening up. Just go and say hello. Hello. It's Tommy. Hello. So Sinkies is already opening on Friday. And, uh, next to any hills here. McDonald's over the road's got its chairs out. Pirates is opening tonight, their first show. That's earlier for Pirates as well. It's um, Brian's Bill Pandurks. So McDonald's is actually open. How crazy is that? Like, tell me what. Coco Bongo's got the big tellies on. Cleaning up the terrace. I think they're opening very, very soon as well. Not many Mallorca flags for the match, are there? So, yeah, a few places open, a lot to close. We'll just have a walk across, see if we can see some life. Going through this little square over here, it's got some nice shops. And, uh, well, the deck chairs are out on the balconies up there. Is the water in the pool that was drained over the winter? So it's check these places. And yes, it's full of water. I can't see anyone swimming in it. Might be a bit chilly. Starbucks is open. Taco Bell. This one's been open for the winter. They're cleaning up. The seagull. New thing over there is seagull fetch. Look really interesting. down to the beach. Let's see what's going on down there. There's been lots of uh, building work going on, particularly around uh, Tom Brown, so it'll be interesting to see how that work is progressing. Some big shops here, Mango, 
and uh, denim and friends over there. That one was up in a... Uh, you like that one, do you? Oh, you go in. Yeah, something we did notice in Calamior is that uh, they seem to have lots of designer clothes shops. For lunch, a bit late for lunch actually, it's 10 to 4, even by my standards. See how Tom Brown's is coming on? <laughs> it's a big question of the day, isn't it? You can see all the pallets. Uh, Need to be cleared away. This is cleaning up. Tom Brown's has actually got the chairs out. And yeah, I think they said, come rain or shine, they were going to get it done, and it looks like they have. Brilliant is that. Well done to them, wish them all the best for the season. Put a lot of work and effort into the new bar. Uh, what used to be the happy house has now been taken over by them. Is that the new menu? It's always been good, always great value for money. Mm, Certainly was a favourite uh, of our children. 4.45 for breakfast. Might have to tempt that one. And right by this fantastic beach. <laughs> Don't normally get waves on this beach at all, it's really unusual and there's some really quite big waves coming in. And it looks as though the water's actually got over the top of the sand here. Now that must mean there have been some really big waves earlier on. The wind doesn't feel as bad here. We're, we must be sheltered. And no beds here, yes. No, no beds and uh, no lifeguard. Big waves crashing on the sand there. That is unusual. Dakiri Palace. Not too much going on here yet. No, Kalamilio was very busy. Compared with this. Oh, there are some weights today. How did you get to this? need to clean that graffiti up. There's follies. All looks nice and clean. Looks as though they're ready to start putting out their tables and chairs. I've never seen uh, water come over the sand like that there. Yeah. That is quite remarkable. And uh, there's an article in the paper today quoting NASA saying that uh, in the distant future, so it won't be affecting us, but uh, they're saying in the next uh, 70 or 80 years, the sea level around the Baleares is going to rise by 70 centimeters. 
and uh, well, that would be if it didn't happen. It would be devastating for where we're walking now because uh, we can't be much more than 70 centimetres above the sea level and uh, with a storm that would mean we'd be getting wet and this would be a sea wall and if that was the case the sand would get washed away into the sea so you need to believe it climate change is uh, is real Club Wave House <laughs> And the, you can't see the big waves coming in they just seem to just hit the beach mm. uh, When we were in uh, Sakoma and Kalamio, you could see the rolling waves coming in and then building up and then crashing over. Now here's um, Bondi Beach and this is looking a little bit more like Magaluf now, isn't it? And uh, people sitting out in the sun, enjoying cocktails, beers, and uh, generally having a great time. Now we're not going to walk any further down here. Go ahead. This way down to the bottom of the strip and uh, see if there's any sign of life on the strip. I'm sure you'd expect it yet, but uh, well, we're at strange times, aren't we? BBC News was talking about people making sure you, your uh, passports are in date. Not only that they're in date, but that they're not 10 years old. There's uh, a rule in Spain about uh, your passport have a certain, have to have a certain amount of validity before you can come here. There's the, uh, the strip. And it seems that people have already been turned away because they don't have um, the right amount of validity or they've been issued more than 10 years ago. It happens if you apply for your passport early. So the issue date is also important. horse is still for sale. I can't believe that that's been closed for such a long time since uh, well before Covid. It used to be the black and white. Yeah. 
like so. Chinese. And across the road you've got the Sol Kathmandu Park and Resort. So it's become quite a feature now of Magaluf. Gambling on there, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mallorca playing at the weekend. It's an away match uh, in Valencia. And uh, we've got quite a good record down there, but can we keep it up? And uh, have we got the momentum from the Copa del Rey, which is coming up very, very soon. People getting excited here about the Spanish Cup, Copa del Rey. Just looking across the road back at the Kathmandu Hotel and uh, here's the upside down Kathmandu house and uh, some of the attractions you can see there some bungee jumping for the kids this is Finnegan's live music Thursday that's tomorrow Friday got Elvis coming Sounds good. Mick, 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 a great entertainer, really nice chap. Oh, it's getting warm now. <laughs> to the wind it's getting warm it's the apartments and the Bella that's the inn apartments and the Bella Italian restaurant right next to Leo's Stopped up at Leo's for a little, little refreshment, and uh, oh, my niece is having coffee. Sorry, I gave in. Cheers, everyone. Well, still one of our favourite places to go, uh, Leo's, for coffee or a, or even a crafty little beer. Anyway, we're going uh, across here now to. Teddy's, or well, Lisa's found another shop to have a look in. Teddy's is an interesting little shop. It's one of these places where you, you go in and buy things that you didn't know you wanted. But I'm getting into sort of crafty things. And uh, I might buy some paint. I may have uh, acrylic paints. Show you the Kathmandu. And the uh, cafeteria here, La Villa, do really good pepidodolomos. So that's one of the places we go. And we're down here for a pepidodolomo. It's like a, a loin pork sandwich and a baguette really good and this is Teddy 
want a pair of flip-flops, a blanket, a towel, just about anything here. If you've forgotten something to go on the beach, got all the toys here for you. Well, we'll go in and see what we can find.